I'm Jim Madigan. Tonight we begin our local series looking at the Italian Americans and how much they contribute to our culture and our way of life here in Western Massachusetts. This is all in conjunction with the PBS series, The Italian Americans, coming up later this month on WGBY. And our local reports are supported by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Well, since its founding in 1925, Tony's Barbershop in Springfield has been a hub of the South End. It's a place where the men of the community gathered for much more than a haircut or a shave, catching up on the latest news of friends and family. And now after 90 years in business, it's still all of that and much more today. Tony's famous barbershop. I always say that one way or the other it brings everybody in the city through here. Antonio Gianetti started it in the 20s and uh, he became famous because it was right next to the theater and all the great actors and actresses would come. The actors would get shaves and haircuts from his barbershop. And uh, at one time he actually was on the cover of Life magazine. They would go to Brightside and give haircuts for all the, the orphans for free. So anyway, that's what created his, his name. He, you know, he was great to people. And in 1975, he sold it to my father, Tilio Isadi, and uh, we've had it since then. I started in 1975 with my dad down here and I would, I would shine shoes all Saturday. And then, uh, you know, I'd make my $2 for lunch. I'd go to Red Rose, get myself a sausage or meatball grinder and um, couldn't wait for Saturday night dinner. We'd get a pizza from Red Rose, take it home. So uh, there's great places in Springfield. La Fiorentina, Frigo's, there's a great history. Growing up Italian, it, the, the community was very tight. Everyone knew one another. Everybody knew, you know, your uncle or your cousin. And uh, of course, you couldn't do anything wrong because you'd be in trouble automatically, you know, they knew. They knew how to find you, that's for sure. The Italian community used to have uh, three clubs, you know, like uh, Lady Grace, Mont Carmel, Asunda Club. You know, there was, uh, everybody was nice. Yeah, when we were kids, there was three festivals and uh, they would close the streets down and, and, you know, sausage and meatballs and fried dough and uh, lemon ice. And then Sunday afternoon, of course, would be the grease pole and uh, everybody take their chance climbing up. Sunday dinners are a great thing. You go to your grandmother's house. We always went around four or five o'clock, spent the whole afternoon, dinner. That was a great tradition too. We get along with everybody, with the other nationality. There was a wall too. They always say we respect each other. We work hard and we try to have a American dream. Everybody comes through here. Bishop McGuire came here his whole life. And we had cops, we had judges, we had a few bad guys too. And uh, growing up Italian in the south end of Springfield, you know, we, as young kids, we, you know, maybe uh, cause a fight with somebody. And if you fought with the wrong person, you'd be in trouble. You know, you'd have to go and uh, have a meeting and, and talk about it. Or if you went to a bar when you were a little older and, you know, caused a problem in the bar or, yeah. There was always uh, that other element that you had to watch out for too. You know, we do 15, 20 haircuts a day, but it's fun because every person's a different, a different star. You know, you, you catch up with the person and uh, if someone's going through a, a low time, you try to help them through it. I just text one of my friends. This guy came every week for the last 25 years and he's got brain cancer. So I just gave him a text, see how he's doing. He's like, I said, uh, wondering how you're doing. He's like, do you miss my money, you know, because he came every week. I said, no, I'm wondering about you, you know. So we had a joke, but, um, you know, you go through people's lives with them. There's a lot of customers that we don't see very much, but when they have a little boy, they always come down to Tony's because that's where they had their first haircut. When the little boy comes in, there's this little first haircut diploma. We take a lock of the hair and uh, it's like little graduation from, from babyhood to boyhood and that's a great thing. Everybody loves it and they save them forever. I still have a lot of my dad's customers. My dad died in 96 and uh, a lot of his customers still come in today. I've been coming here 30 years. Um, I came um, with the original owner, um, Tilio, and now his son. Where else are you going to go? Seriously, I mean, it's, it's a neighborhood place that's taking care of all his customers really well. I'm happy and all the guys I know that come here are very happy too. I think it's the people. 
You know, you, you, get, you, you make great relationships with people over the years and the people keep you coming back. Plus, I love to cut hair. I love to do something and make somebody happy. We are always told there's two kinds of people. There's Italians and there's people that want to be Italian. And, you know, we, we, uh, we love our heritage, that's for sure. Meatballs, pasta, you know, there's nothing better. I don't know any other culture that has food that matches up, you know. So, better to be Italian.